Hello once again, witchy people. As you can probably hear, my voice is not good, so this is why <clears throat> I haven't been making any videos. So, <clears throat> partly is I had a very bad reaction to the COVID booster, which, for anyone else out there, is not an excuse not to have it done. Just my opinion. Anyway, so there are a few lingering remnants of the season, but for the most part, everything is gone. And <clears throat> whilst I've been waiting for my voice to return, I started a new project, which I thought I would share with you. And this is it. Okay, so this chair was found in my mum-in-law's attic and at some point someone has lopped the back off and to be honest that's kind of what I like about it. Um, we are going to... <coughs> I can hold on to this. So my husband and I are going to um, redo these slightly, just level them off. But this whole thing was rotting away and um, there was a bungee cord underneath it. Uh, underneath the seat holding it together. This is not woodworm. This is the amount of nails and tacks that I've had to remove through years and years of people re-upholstering it and not taking out the old tacks and in some places the chair is more more holes than wood. Anyway, so as you can see it's very um as I said it's rotten and I have ordered myself some new strapping and some new base um, duck cloth and all sorts. Now I've never done this before. I've upholstered those chairs where you just lift off the seat. <clears throat> but this is a new one for me. Um, now at some point it has been um, oh, uh, like I said re-upholstered many times and the last time this was fabric and when it was re-upholstered uh, this would be the front of the chair when it was re-upholstered they just took a bit of um, the, the wadding placed it on top and then recovered it um, it would have been nice to know how it was originally originally um, done but like I said, the, the chair is a lot older than even this, because this isn't um, a tapestry fabric or anything, it's printed. So, this must be maybe from the 70s, maybe slightly earlier. But it's not, <laughs> like I said, it's not the age of the chair. This chair is much, much, much older. So, <clears throat> all I've done so far, as I said, I've taken up, this is the mound that I'm left with. This is upside down, obviously. So, it's got the original, like, horse hair backing and some hessian. And then, originally, that would have had, like, a layer of paper or sheep's wool and then more wadding. And then underneath that wadding is more coarse horse hair. And here in this layer was the um, cover that I took out. Then there's more wadding. And this, which is how I found the chair with this cover on it. And I will probably leave this that cover on and cover over the top of it. And not put any more wadding on because I don't want it to be hugely wadded. So this is what I'm, I've been up to since I haven't been able to make videos. And as I said, it's a beautiful chair. It's got, is it called cabriolet legs at the front, straight at the back. So it is for, it wasn't a dining chair. It was, it was for going up against the wall uh, or to be put on part of the room where you wouldn't see the back, which is why there's no 
no detailing at all on the back. All the detailing is at the front. Which I think is quite interesting. Anyway, so there is a very, very pretty little chair that hopefully will be sorted out in a few weeks. And this is going to be my, well, it started off as a mid-Yule uh, project and it's going to take take me a few weeks certainly and it's going to cost a fair bit <clears throat> probably not what the chair's worth by any means but certainly to me it will be um and so it's just rotting away and it'll be nice to see what I can make of it so it's not going to be um you know, I'm, I'm not redoing it. I'm, I'm no professional. This is going to be an upcycle project, I guess. And to restore this chair, not not restore because it's not a restoration, but to change this chair and make it usable, it's going to cost about eighty pounds, I think, because I, I had to buy the new tax because I didn't know what best tax to use, you know, if I had the right ones. So all of that's in the hat, ticking and the tape and duck cloth and yeah, everything. And at the same time, I'm also going to reupholster all of these chairs, which came with a dining set that my brother and his wife gave to me. Um, this is the fabric that's on them, and I am going to have red tartan, and to do six of these chairs is going to cost about £80. <laughs> so £80 for six chairs and £80 for one chair. Slightly extravagant, but I'm hoping it's going to be really worth it because either way it's cheaper than a new dining set and that chair's going to be, for a while, I think definitely my pride and joy. Uh, the only difference is I'm not going to have a red cover on this because I want it to be able to be put into several different rooms. I'm having a champagne cream sort of coloured crushed velvet upholstery on it. So there you go, that's what I've been up to whilst... My nose has been running and my eyes has been my eyes have been watering and my voice has been disappearing. And I hope you're all still having a wonderful Yule. Whilst we're all here coughing, as you probably just heard. <laughs> and sniffling. And uh, I will be back hopefully very soon uh, with a new video and a return of my voice. Thank you for watching, witty people. Bye for now.